All right, why, why am I getting him to take a video? Well, I went on YouTube, and this is where I found this information out. And there was a, a man named Terry Tollefson who taught me through YouTube how to get microorganisms from our soil samples. And I want to take a video of this because I want to thank you, Terry, for teaching me how to do this in, in our class. Uh, so, so you're going to like post on YouTube once? Yeah. I, hey, hey, I want to be on this. A lot of actually, <laughs> to tell you the truth, I know, I knew just about nothing about soils. YouTube was my biggest friend for teaching me how to, how to do a lot of these different things. This was actually given to me by Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. The burning of organic matter. And, uh, but most of my other stuff has come from YouTube. So, no. Yeah, I get it. Everyone wait if you carry it, Ashley. Oh, too close. Okay, everyone agree? This looks intense. Okay. This looks intense. <laughs> New page, write Behrman funnel. This is what this bad boy is. How do you spell Behrman? Uh, yeah, it's weird spelling. Okay, I lost chalk again, as usual. Behrman funnel. Behrman funnel. What is a Behrman funnel? A Behrman funnel colon. A device used. A device used to extract microbes. A device used to extract microbes from a soil or plant sample. A device used to extract microbes from a soil or plant sample. Well, one more term. What is a microbe? A microbe. A soil from a what? From a. Okay, from a soil or plant sample. And then write microbe. What is a microbe? It is any small microscopic organism. Any small micro or microscopic organism. <coughs> okay, so I'll get one other thing. Booyah, this is my Soil sample. Actually, I have two soil samples there too. But this is what I got this morning. And there are a few things about it which I want you to write. So, write Mr. G's soil sample. Mr. G's soil sample. This came from a forest. Small forest, but it came from the forest. What forest? Uh, right outside Debbie and Mike's. Uh, don't tell. My little secret. If they knew I was dating, <laughs> no, they'd be mine. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, comes from a forest. Point two. It is undisturbed. It is undisturbed. Point three, it is relatively moist. It is relatively moist. Well, it just rained. Wow. Rain came at the perfect time for this. It's very moist uh, because I just got it this morning. And this would be a good sample to find microbes in. And because it's undisturbed, it doesn't, we're not walking by this all the time. It's in the middle of trees where no one, no one would go, except for me, for one time, to get this soil sample. So, because it's undisturbed, it's a good example of a natural sample. Okay, so that when I say undisturbed, it is a natural sample. 
That's what I want you to understand from that. Well, to get microbes from this, well, we can't, we can't go into the soil and, and like, I can't jump in here and, and look at them. They're so small that I'll need a microscope. But how do I get them from here to a microscope? Well, thanks to Terry, uh, use this Bayerman funnel, which is hardcore. Okay, I need it. So for the people who brought soil samples, <laughs> after I demo this, I want you to each do it. So I have eight here. I have two samples. One of them is this one, and one of them is the geranium plant. I got some soil from the back there, and I want to put that in. The other six can go, just choose one of your soil samples, the one that you're interested in, maybe the one that you think the most microbes you'd find would be in, and you're going to do exactly what I do and put them in there. So how do you do it? So everyone, just make sure you know how to do this. I have cheesecloth, which is, or gauze, okay? And there's holes in it so water can get through. I've got just a simple funnel with a tube connected to it. And here's a ring stand and four little holes where I can put these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a portion of this soil sample. So I don't want to get all this grass and stuff. I, I want the soil part. Now, if some of you have grass and stuff in it, you can just pick it out after. But just with my hand, I'm going to pick out some soil. And I'm going to put in the cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth, yeah. I've never heard that one before. I also have this grating, which I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, how, how much we need it, because maybe this cheesecloth is going to be okay, but I'm going to put that in there. It's just so I can prevent soil from getting through this tube. I should have kind of shaped that before. Alright, so I have that in. Let's try some of them without this film too. Grab it by the four corners and just fold them in. Okay, I'm going to take that out right now. Grab it by the four corners, and actually, what I'm going to do before this, is I'm just going to close this off. Because I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to fill it with water. Right, so first, I'll just fill it the water into this funnel. Now let's go part way. 